Hello everyone, this is AA25 and this video is here uh, to show you what features there are in the recovery menu with custom firmware. You have, first of all, you have toggle USB, which is if you have, um, for example, say you semi bricked your PSP uh, and you're able to go to recovery mode. If you need to go to USB, easier right there to go to USB. Next feature I want to show is configuration. Just click X to say, okay, you want to go in there. So as you see, there's many, many features and many settings. So I'll tell you some about them. Skip is so, first one is skip Sony logo. Mine is currently disabled, but what it should do is whenever you uh, turn on your PSP or whenever you start a UMD, the logo will not appear and it'll just go right to the game. Hide corrupt icons, which mine is also currently disabled, is a feature that if you put a corrupt music or uh, like half of a music file or a music file that is not compatible with your PSP, for example, it would say usually say corrupt item, and this feature will uh, make sh make sure that the corrupt icons go away. Next one is game folder homebrew, currently 4.xx kernel. Game folder home, homebrew is like some programs, the homebrew programs, they use like uh, certain kernels like um, for example if you had a Pandora's battery program you'd want to change the kernel to 1.5 only uh, compatible with uh, PSP FATS and you just change it to 1.5 put the file in game 150 via USB mode and then it would just, you know, start the thingamabobby. Start the uh, program. Next is auto run program. Oops, a bit blurry. Auto run program at slash PSP slash game slash boot slash eboot dot pbb currently disabled. If USB mode you may make the game boot eboot dot pbp and you enable it and you just put an eboot file in there it will automatically start that file every time you turn on your PSP I don't use it a lot, I don't know if many people use it but it could be useful at certain times next is UMD mode what this is mine is currently at Sony NP9660 no UMD and what this UMD mode is is when you play a game like a CSO or ISO file that you put in your ISO uh, ISO folder um, what you do is this tells you what you need to run the game like um, if it's a disabled a UMD is required to be inside the PSP the one that most people say is to use the Sony NP9660 which as it says right beside it no UMD is required it is a driver that's already built in into the PSPs and you just don't you know don't need a UMD which can sometimes be useful if you don't have any games if you uh, got if you hacked your uh, PSP out of the box next fake region what this is mine's currently in Europe is that you can make your PSP think you bought it from a certain region and that can enable you to have some features that are only available in that country mine's currently in Europe because there's a program called Go Messenger, which is a European exclusive uh, thing, and I, I like that. It's pretty cool how you can it ha it's like voice chat, text chat, and video chat. Pretty cool how you can use it. So I made mine Europe, so I can have that. Next is the Use VS VSH menu, which is currently enabled. This is all. It's currently enabled. It was it what it is is when your PSP is on and you're at the VSS menu. Whenever you press and hold select for three seconds, the M33 VA set VSH menu will pop up, which can be useful for changing your USB device that you want to use, which the next one is XMB USB device, currently memory stick. Memory stick is the one that PSPs are always on when you buy them, like when they're o official firmware. Um, this is like a harder way to change what type of USB device you're using. Easier ways to use the VSH menu to change. Charge battery when USB cable plugged in. Currently disabled. 
This feature is a PSP Slim exclusive thing only, which allows you to charge the battery when the USB cable is plugged in. You don't have to uh, turn this feature on or off via the recovery menu. You could just use the um, use the settings in the v uh, XMB menu. Use M33 Network Update, currently enabled. What this is, is whenever you click Network Update in the, uh, in the Settings section, it will check for updates, M33 updates, and not for up, like the official firmware updates, but the custom firmware updates, which can be very useful, and make sure that you don't accidentally update to official firmware. Hide pick 0.png and pick 1.png in Game Menu, currently disabled. I really have no idea what this is. Um, I wouldn't recommend you could guys find out what it is, but I don't think it's really a great cool thing. So we're just going to go back to look at the other stuff. Next is we run program at PSP game recovery eboot.pbp. This is a program you make manually at eboot.pbp you make manually and supposed to fix your PSP if it's semi brick but 90% it won't work it never works with me when I bricked it this PSP once before next is advanced let's click that what this is is you could toggle USB in uh, toggle USB flash 0 flash 1 flash 2 flash 3 and flash 3 and it's like you can toggle them from here instead of from the uh, main whenever from the XMB USB device and then there's format flash one and reset settings this is like those flash one contains all your settings so if you click that you just have to change the settings and set them up again and then advanced configuration now these two features, I don't know what they are. Um, you probably could find it if you Google it, but uh, I don't think they're really useful. So I wouldn't. You could play with them if you want to, but I recommend you don't. And I already explained this. Next is CPU speed. Now what this is is it toggles the speed of your speed of your PSP, so example of speed in XMB, currently default, like whenever you click the left button, it's usually how long it takes for it to go from where it is to the setting next to it. For example, you're on game and you want to go left. If you put it to the slowest speed, it would probably take like 5 10 seconds to go to what's next to game video. Speed in UMD ISO, same thing except it's how fast the game runs. Like I said, um, I would recommend you don't like play around with these, just leave them the way they are, but anything's okay. Plugins. I don't have any plugins now, or, well, oh, I do, but they don't work. Um, some of them are enabled, but they don't work anyway. But what it is, is you have like these plugins that you could put in, and what you do is via a memory stick USB connection, you would create a file called se plugins and put your folders and uh, files in there and then you can like enable them and disable them from here they usually have some pretty cool stuff you could use but I wouldn't recommend or I'm not going to talk about it much in this video just uh, watch any other video on YouTube and they'll teach you how to do it registry hacks this is like basically stuff that isn't really registry hacks it's just a name but this is stuff you can uh, do basically pretty much in uh, normal XMB settings and this except for this button assign which is currently X is the enter X is usually enter um, you could change it from X to O X is usually better activate YMA just activates uh, just a certain thing that you can activate from the settings section same thing with activate flash player I'm not going to go too much detail into that and that is the whole recovery menu
Thank you guys for watching and I hope you learned something new.